Hello, in this video we're going to do a consumer choice problem. The consumer's indifference curve is given by the following equation. We want to show that this consumer is maximizing utility by spending $8 of income on 4 units of good X, priced at $1 each, and 4 units of good Y, also priced at $1 each. To maximize utility, the slope of the indifference curve must equal the slope of the budget line. We'll start with the slope of the budget line. The slope of the budget line is minus the price ratio. The price of good X, the thing that we're measuring on the X axis, divided by the price of good Y, the thing that we're measuring on the Y axis. And in this case, the price of each good is 1, so the slope of the budget line will equal minus 1. The slope of the indifference curve. So here's our indifference curve. To get the slope of it, we're going to take the derivative of the indifference curve with respect to good x. Doing that, we get the following result, minus 16 divided by x squared. And as we mentioned, the slope of the indifference curve will equal the slope of the budget line when maximizing utility. So let's set both equations equal to one another. The slope of the indifference curve equals the slope of the budget line. The minuses cancel. And I have a 4 here in for x because we said when the consumer is maximizing utility, x equaled 4. So I make a substitution in for x. And simplifying, the slope of the indifference curve does equal the slope of the budget line. So the consumer is maximizing utility at that consumption bundle, 4 units of good x and 4 units of good y, where the price of good x and the price of good y are a dollar each. Okay, I'll stop here.